Electronic Specify. Welcome to Electronic Specify Insights, the podcast for electronics engineers. I'm your host, Paige West. In today's episode, I speak with Robert King, Read Relay Product Manager at Pickering Electronics. I speak with Robert about how semiconductor tests can benefit from read relays. Robert dives into what makes read relays a preferred choice for switching in semiconductor test systems and how Pickering Electronics ensure that its read relay products meet the demands of emerging trends in semiconductor testing. We hope you enjoy this episode. Let's get started. Electronic Specify. Hello and welcome back to Electronic Specify Insights. Today, I'm pleased to be joined by Robert King, who is the Read Relay Product Manager at Pickering Electronics. So hi, Robert. Thanks very much for joining us. And and how are you today? Hi. Yeah, thank you for having me on. I'm very good. Thank you. Good. It's a pleasure to have you. So why don't we start with an introduction of yourself and your background? Yeah, so I started at Pickering just over 10 years ago, and I was employed as a technician to work on test fixtures and some of our earlier read relay designs since then i've worked up into a technical sales and product development role where i now support our customers with their applications and all of their you know product inquiries and you know we turn those ideas into solutions fantastic and and why don't you introduce the company as well tell us a little bit more about pickering electronics yeah, sure. So Picker Electronics are known for leading the high-end relay market uh, through innovative product design, high-performance components, and exceptional quality control. So Pickering was established over 55 years ago to design and manufacture high-quality read relays intended for the use in instrumentation and test equipment. And today, Pickering's ranges are by far the most developed in the relay industry uh, with devices approximately 25% smaller than many many of our competitors. So these small read relays are sold in high volumes to large ATE and semiconductor companies throughout the world. Fantastic. A great introduction. Thank you. And I'd love to chat with you today about how semiconductor tests can benefit from read relays, if, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure. So read relays play a crucial role in semiconductor manufacturing, especially in wafer probe testing, offering several advantages. So after semiconductor wafers are fabricated, they undergo wafer probe testing using automatic test equipment. And this is to check for the functionality of each die. So this involves applying different test conditions like voltages and currents. Um, And then the ATE performs AC and DC parametric testing and functional testing to ensure each die meets specifications. So read relays are crucial in this process for switching between test conditions and accurately routing results within the ATE system itself. And one sort of main advantage of the read relays is basically the high transparency, as we call it, meaning they don't interfere with the test conditions due to their low on resistance and high off resistance, which ensures accurate test conditions. Mm-hmm. Okay, so following on from that then, what makes read relays a preferred choice for, for switching in semiconductor test systems? particularly compared to other switching technologies like solid state relay devices, uh, electromechanical relays or or MEM switches? Yeah, so there's many reasons an engineer would choose uh, read relays over other switching technologies. Um, So for instance, an engineer may choose a read relay over a solid state relay for its low leakage, low capacitance and switching reliability, while an engineer may choose solid state relay because they can offer faster switching speeds and higher power ratings. Unlike solid state relays, which have leakage current due to their semiconductor design, read relays act as perfect mechanical switches with very low leakage currents when open. And this makes read relays better suited for applications requiring higher insulation resistances uh, and minimal power losses. Fantastic. And, and as some of our listeners may know, read relays are capable of, of switching high voltages and measuring very low voltages. So how does this performance compare with other switching devices used in semiconductor testing? Yeah, so for high voltage switching, read relays can handle high voltages typically up to 10 to 20 times more than EMRs and MEM switches. 
of a comparable size. So this makes them versatile for semiconductor testing that requires switching large power supplies or signals. So read relays switch a few kV, but they can stand off voltages of well over 20 kV. So so some really, really high voltages there with read relays. And it, it's made possible due to their construction, really. So read, read switches are offered in as vacuum. So they have vacuum switches, which makes them you know, extremely small mm-hmm. as well. And, and that leads on uh, to my next point quite nicely, actually, which is that semiconductor test ATE systems, automatic test equipment systems, often require numerous switching devices. So how do read relays contribute to, to space saving in PCB design, which is a very important topic? Yeah, so read relays contribute to space saving uh, for, for semiconductor test in a few ways. So read relays are smaller than other devices such as EMRs and some solid state relays. You know, for the, for the same specifications for EMRs, you know, you, you, you may lead extremely large contacts to achieve the same voltages of read relays and the relays compact design allows for extremely high density on the pcb which reduces the overall board side and although not smaller than mems uh, for example read relays can be placed you know really really close together um, and that's thanks to the internal electromax uh, shielding which prevents interaction between adjacent relays. Mm-hmm. And I know that, that read relays are often praised for their, their long-term reliability. So can you share some examples with us of how this reliability impacts the overall cost effectiveness and, and maintenance of semiconductor testing equipment? Yeah, so when a switching device is highly reliable, it has an extended service life, which reduces the need for uh, frequent replacements and this significantly minimizes the chances of unexpected failures which also therefore reduces equipment downtime for maintenance or repair mm-hmm. and and given everything that you've told us so far then what are the trade-offs when choosing a, a read relay over other types of relays or, or switching devices yeah so there can be a few trade-offs here one of those uh, could be the current handling, so read relays are rated to lower currents than some devices like you know, solid state relays and EMRs. Another one may be with the voltage rating. So read relays typically have lower maximum voltage ratings than some other some other EMRs. You you can get uh, large EMR contactors, you know, that can switch fifty to hundred kV. Uh, and, you know, read relays are typically designed to switch a few kVs and stand off twenty kV. Mm-hmm. Another point would be the, the switching speed. Um, read relays are slower than MEMS, but they are faster than EMRs. So that, that's a couple of their a couple of trade offs there. Another one would be the size. So you know, read relays are not as small as MEMS, but as I explained earlier, you can stack relays mm-hmm. side by side. Mm-hmm. And what about some of the, the challenges then? What what challenges have you encountered when integrating read relays into your customers' semiconductor test systems? And, and how have you addressed those? Yeah, so um, one of the main ones would be high density, you know, due to the number of test points required for semiconductor testing. Uh, customers are pushing us for smaller and smaller designs. So the way we've been able to achieve that is one by the mu metal screening um, in all our products, meaning that you can stack relays side by side. But another way, you know, Pickering has able to reduce the size of the relays is by manufacturing uh, formless coils, which basically means that you can wind coils without bobbins. And if you can wind coils without bobbins, you can place the coils closer to the switches, which reduces the size of the package overall. So there, you know, there are a couple of reasons how we've been able to manufacture some of the highest density relays, you know, in the, in the industry. And a, an, another one we we ask for is stable contact resistance, uh, you know, for accurate measurements. So we've been able to create special designs with increased coil drives, uh, which increases the, you know, which increases the stability of the relay overall and decreases contact resistances. Mm. Brilliant. And I'd like to, to focus on something that, that you just mentioned, which is, you know, the, the push towards 
faster, smaller and, and more complex semiconductor designs. So how do you see the role of, of read relays evolving in the future of semiconductor testing? I mean, I think we'll be going even smaller. I think the smaller devices will, will need to have the same performance and reliability as our current relays. And this is part of Pickering's innovation. And it can be a difficult fit because we, we're already offering some of the smallest uh, devices out there. But I still think we've got room to you know, increase our product portfolio and hopefully add some more additions in the future you know for customers that need even higher density than they currently have Mm -hmm. yeah and and speaking of sort of pickering electronics evolving then how does the company ensure that its read relay products meet the demands of, of the emerging trends in semiconductor testing yeah, so this is an interesting one because, you know, recently there was um, an announcement of the world's first 300 millimeter gallium nitrate wafer. And this is a significant milestone uh, for power semiconductor industry. So this breakthrough doesn't just transform how chips are made. It also changes the way we approach semiconductor testing, particularly for these larger wafers. So Picker and Electronics, high density read relays will improve the efficiency of this testing also for 300 millimeter silicon wafers and this same te- technology will support the testing of the um, 300 mil gallium nitrate wafers um, and some of the ways we can do that is pickering's relays we're able to do it because with pickering's relays more switching channels can be packed into a smaller space which is crucial when testing larger wafers with higher chip counts so this space saving advantage allows manufacturers to to maximize the testing capacity of their equipment, leading to more efficient use of space and resources without sacrificing reliability and compromising on the specifications. Mm. No, that's brilliant. And you've taught me something new today. So thank you. <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, okay, before we wrap up then, Robert, is there anything else that you want to discuss? Anything you think I haven't covered? I say one thing, um, Pickering will be exhibiting that Electronica um, in Munich from uh, the 12th to the 15th of November. So for anybody that wants to come and see us, please feel free to drop by our stand, come and say hello and discuss read relays with us. We'll be showcasing our latest developments, which includes our ultra high density two pole relays, uh, the 125 series. Fantastic. Well, I'll be sure to pop along and I will encourage our listeners to do so as well. So thank you very much for sharing that with us, Robert, and for giving us a bit more of a deep dive into read relays. I didn't realise read relays was going to be so hard to say throughout this podcast. It's a very, <laughs> <laughs> it's a very tough phrase to say over and over again. <laughs> it, it can be, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you very much for your time, Robert. Uh, it's been a real pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on. Thank you for listening to this latest episode of Electronic Specify Insights. Don't forget to subscribe to the series to keep up to date with our newest guests and do share with fellow colleagues, friends and family who may be interested in the latest news from the electronics industry. Electronic Specify.